What is up my cyber family? My name is Elena Sose and I'm here to slay. Okay. Today I'm coming at you guys with this super blue look. I'm starting off with my blow my brows. Excuse me. And um the first thing I'm doing right here is priming my eyebrows with the Pillowis base. This is the base shade two. And um, yeah, I'm just working that into my brows. Then I'm going in with this lip palette from Amazon. And I'm taking this blue shade and I'm just going to fill up my brows with that. And I'm just following the shape of my brows, my natural brows, the natural shape of my brows. Jesus Christ, I can't speak. But before I continue, I'm just blending out the edges of that base so that when I put on my concealer and foundation, it does not leave a cast. Now this color did not come out as blue as I wanted it to, so I'm going in with an myo pigment it's a royal blue shade and i'm just going to use that to further trace out my brows now i did more of uh um what they call this ombre i went for more of an ombre type of um vibe so in the end i have the royal blue color then i went in with a medium blue shade also a pigment from myo and for the front i went in with a light blue shade from a juvia's place palette next i'm just taking a mac studio what's the name of that concealer the mac studio something i'm just going in with the color nw43 and i'm going to outline those brows and for that i'm using a morphe um girl i'll put the i'll put the um the name of the brush in somewhere on the screen because i can't remember at the moment i'm so sorry but yeah i'll list it in the description box or on the screen okay now i'm going in with the pillowies flat brush this is the 7071 brush and i'm just going to take that brush and put a put put a put put pat according to her that base on my eyelid <laughs> okay pat 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 and i'm then going in with a morphe jesus christ i'm so sorry you guys i can't remember the name of this brush either this is a morphe m441 i'm going in with a morphe m441 brush to blend out the edges of the base so that it does not leave a cast underneath my foundation all right so then i'm taking the same royal blue shade from that myo pigment and i'm just placing that in my crease in a semi-circle type of shape So to do this, I'm going in with really, really small circular motion and I'm really trying to take my time with this just so I can perfect the shape because this first eyeshadow will be a guide for all the rest of the eyeshadow. So if I really want to perfect that shape, I really need to take my time with this first shade and that's what I'm doing. And to do this, I'm using a Morphe M507 brush. Next, I'm going in with a similar color blue from the Juvia's Place Festival palette. And I'm just working that right over the first shade. So 50% on that shade and 50% of that shade. Next, I'm just going in with a lighter shade. And this is a dark, a light blue, sorry, from the 35B palette from Morphe after i go in with this color so this is the third color that i'm using but i did not like the transition between the second and the third shade so i went in with a darker shade in between these two just so that the colors can blend in better you guys will see when i go in with that color you guys will see the difference because with this you could really see the harsh lines in between but when i go in with that that um fourth color in between the second and the third it really brings those colors together 
okay this is what i'm talking about this is me adding the darker shade and i hope you guys can see the difference between what i had before and what i have now okay now i'm using the p louise uh acid rain paint in the shade blank canvas to cut my crease and i'm using the brush that the flat brush that this um product came with so this is the acid rain flat brush from p louise as well excuse me i cannot speak today but bear with me you guys next i'm just patting in the um base so that it sets properly and it does not crease before i go in with the rest of my shadows next i'm using that same shade in the inner and outer corner of the eyeshadow and then i'm adding in some lash glue so that i can pat in some glitter and the glitter i'm focusing it right in the center of the eyeshadow so i'm not going in the outer edges just in the center of the eyeshadow because this is a spotlight look and after i place the glitter then i'm just patting a light blue shade right on the edge of the dark blue that i placed in the inner and outer corner and that is it for the eye look for now All right, so I skipped skin. I did my skin off um, camera. And now I'm just applying my lashes. Now, if you guys don't know, there's this trend on Instagram going around with colored blurs and colored lashes. I decided to hop on. As you can see, my brows are blue. And I decided to do like this black and blue ombre with the lashes. All I did was just add the same base to the, end, the ends of the lash. Then I patted in the NYO pigment and then I added some glitter over it and that is how I got the lashes to look how they look. Now I'm just going in with a black liquid lipstick. This is 2AM from Colored Rain and I'm going to pat on top of that the same glitter that I put on my eyelids and i'm going to add a little bit of gloss and that is it for the look you guys oh but before that i totally forgot i went in with the same blue the first blue which was the lip the lipstick from that um lip palette in the center of that black and i did not like it okay so i had to remove that that is when i went in with the black all black and um i added the glitter base the glitter over the top i'm so sorry guys i can't speak today and then i added the gloss and then that's it okay all right Okay, you guys, this is the look that I came up with. Um, this look came about because my sister asked me to do something blue because she loves blue. And there's this trend going on um, Instagram where 
people are doing their brows in different colors that's where the blue colored brows came from and then I just decided to match everything uh, <laughs> My creative juices was juices was just flowing and the more I tried to stop it the more it kept going. I ran. So I just went with it you guys and this is the look that I came up with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Blue overload. But yeah, this is the look. I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, because it's different and it's extra like it's extra 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 read all about it I think I think I like it. I'm gonna turn on my light so you guys could see like the true essence of this look oh my god my hair girls <laughs> I um I started taking out my braids and then I wanted to do my makeup so I just the edges or whatever but um don't judge me okay this is the look you guys don't not like this up just ignore it okay just ignore that shit and just pay attention to my face Alright you guys, let me know if you guys like it or if you guys think that I overdid it, if I did too much. Let me know if it's a no or if it's a go. Obviously, this is not a look where you would go out with. This is just Instagram makeup. And um, I feel like this blue is looking a little harsh on my cheeks. Whatever girl, this is the look. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And <laughs> I will see you guys in my next one. Oh, okay.